I, I really wish we'd stop calling jazz mirage yeah. but or leo Combo. yeah exactly he has the meow tricks not the matrix <laughs> next we have <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. I jumped again there. so if you guys need a nerf gun or you know you have a kid in your life go ahead and get it i know bobby's gonna get this probably to shoot those squirrels out of his attic <laughs> oh that hurts. <laughs> oh. Well, welcome back to the channel. I'm James the Con. And I'm Bobby the Bot. And why don't we get right into some news? So let's look at some leaks first. So people found it in the system that next year we're going to be getting, I guess it's called Legacy Uni. So I'm assuming that's Legacy United or Legacy Universe. And we're going to be getting Core, Beast Wars, Dinobot, and Beast Machines, Cheetor. Now, what are your thoughts on this, Bobby? Core class? Eh. Core class. Eh. Um, I, I never liked the Beast Machines, really. I think I was actually out of collecting when Beast Machine started. So I'll be interested to see if any of these figures kind of entice me to pick up what I skipped on when I was a kid. But Core Clash usually doesn't do it for me. Yes, I'm right there with you. If they are both Core Class, I will be skipping them. It's really cool. Unlike you, I do like the Beast Machine looks. They look a little weird and you know me, I. The weirder it is, the better it is for me. So I do like that they're going in that direction. And hopefully we get more Beast Machines characters, specifically the Viacons like Thrust and Tankor and um, Jetstorm and Stryka and Obsidian. And I could battle, I could keep going on. So I want to see more of them in a new, more um, modern look. So hopefully that's... Where we're going but as for the core class give me a cat scan repaint and i might pick it up and dinobots completely out <laughs> i already have dinobot and grimlock so i don't need no more beast wars dinobot yeah it's i think it'd be a little too small for for my collection as well so it would be in scale though with your g1 masterpieces yeah and yeah, yeah. that, that, that might tempt me <laughs> um, so let's move on to what has been just announced. Now there's a lot of Rise of the Beast stuff, so let's see what we could do. The first thing is via Chefatron, we've got a package refresh, but like it's a different version of the mold, which I don't think we've seen in a very long time. And this is obviously Breakdown um, in a more G1 color scheme. So it has more tempos, a different head that's more like the toy instead of the tune. Um, the feet and gun are now blue, and it has a different deco for the car. If I was buying the set, I would be royally annoyed that they did this. Because that new version, to me, looks a lot better. I hate to agree with you. I, I, I was wondering where you are going with this. So, as someone who bought the set, I am royally annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> so I love the new version. You know, it just, those colors on there look amazing. <sighs> and I don't know if I'm loving the set that much that I'll go and pick up this one, but I am tempted to. Especially when you don't see them if you're going to display them in Minasaur mode. Exactly. Which, which is why I honestly was out on the Menasaur. I know that's how they look like in the cartoon, but I need those legs flipped around because I want to see those cars. Yeah. They're I useless mean, in combiner mode, pretty much, and I don't like that. As a car guy, I that is one thing that I, I loved and hated about Menasaur. You know, I love the yes. fact that it was cars. I thought that was awesome, but it they were just simply, you see the chest of the, the robots Exactly. on the legs so and you don't even see the chest of the robot on the legs on this new legacy yeah, yeah <laughs> literally version. so so here's a close-up of the head and that new head sculpt both of the head sculpts are very nice the new ones would 
be really nice if it wasn't slathered in that blue paint that makes it very shiny compared to all the other blue. I actually like the original head better. The the, the the new head, at least in this picture, it looks like somebody, you know, used a glue gun to form like the forehead of it or so. And it's it doesn't look balanced, even though it is, but it just looks like somebody was trying to do a touch up job on it. So uh, exactly, exactly. I like, I, like I said, I like both of them. I, you know me, I always lean towards the toy stuff, so that's why I do appreciate that look better. Um, but I do like the original head. Yeah. I just don't like the figure. <laughs> 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 Moving on to something that I think you might get to just put on your wall, we've got an Auth Transformer Authentics Nerf gun with Optimal Optimus Primal on it. So. If you guys need a Nerf gun or, you know, you have a kid in your life, go ahead and get it. I know Bobby's going to get this probably to shoot those squirrels out of his attic. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> oh, so that's a, that's a deep dig. So last year, <laughs> right after TFCon Chicago, uh, I ended up having flying squirrels in my attic and actually we had a raccoon as well in the attic and it was an expensive uh fit repair to get everything taken care of so oh that 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 just brings <laughs> up some bad memories i okay james i see where we're going that's your, uh, you're gonna that's what you're gonna get this right <laughs> <laughs> just gonna, i'm gonna, gonna get it used on you now <laughs> <laughs> um so no, I will not be picking this up. I actually I haven't had a Nerf gun, I, I in forever. So I, I was in single digits when I had a Nerf gun, you know. So no, I will I will not be picking this up. But I see where we're going, James. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so moving on, we've got <laughs> so a lot of Transformers: Rise of the Beasts figures, and. This one might be the most confusing to me. First of all, remember when I said that Optimus Prime was going to get another alt mode because that one was a Target exclusive <coughs> yep. a while ago? There's the other alt mode right there. First things first. Second of all, why does he have a lion in his chest and why is this marketed as a beast mode? I, this is just like that bird... Bumblebee that's coming out. I don't Bumble understand Swoop? this. Or no, no, the, not Bumblebee. Yes, the yes, I know. No, he had a red thing. bird that came out of his mouth. Yes. It does not make sense to me. Um, all I keep seeing is, you know, the even though it's a lion, but I keep thinking of like the Frosted Flakes commercial. Show him you're a tiger. Show him what you can do. You know, and instead he's showing us that he's a lion. Which also doesn't go with the character of a Beast Wars. Well, I guess it's you know Leo Prime or Leo. Yeah, Convoy. exactly. He has the Meow Tricks, not the Matrix. <laughs> this yeah, it, right. it, it doesn't make sense to me. Leo Prime should be a completely different character. And it's, I I I I don't I don't I don't understand this. I feel like it's just a cash grab. It's a triple changer. This is the third mode. Yeah, that's one, yeah. two, three. Yeah, that's wow. <laughs> wow. So I think I'm that, gonna then that, that's what we have to expect from triple changes from now on, I guess. I'm gonna put a, a tiger on my chest and I'm gonna call myself a triple changer as well. All right, well, next we have um, Battle Changer Scourge. Now, I got these images from TFW, and they say that these are the same figure, but I think they're mistaken. I think it's two different figures. It, it should well, be. They, yeah, they don't, they, they, it's not the same alt mode. But the first thing is, they both look like repaints of Optimus Prime, which is why they probably chose Scourge in the first place, because it's just repaint heaven. Secondly, the Scorpion Scourge is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. 
and it kind of makes me want to pick it up if it's like 15 bucks <laughs> just because it's freaky <laughs> so but if it's more than 14.99 i'm out i actually thought you would like both honestly i haven't seen the robot mode of the second the first one with the white background yeah, I, I, I mean that, but even like that alt mode looks uh, looks right up your alley in terms of colors and crazy. I see, I see that big crazy hand sticking off the back, and I really don't like that hand. No, the no. big tentacle hand, yeah. or whatever it is, and I don't even like it on the other one. So it's weird. I guess they're supposed to be aliens, but like one hand has a tentacle arm and the other one doesn't. So I, I, I don't get it. So, yeah, I'll be skipping both. And here we have um, Battle Changers Mirage. This looks better than the Studio Series version. So, if I was collecting those, I would just pick up this and just leave the Studio Series chonker behind and just pick this guy up. <sighs> I, I really wish we'd stop calling Jazz Mirage. Yeah. But... Um, I, 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 I don't think I can get over that fact right there. That that's that's like bugging me. I do like the alt mode to some degree. It favors a Porsche-ish type of vehicle. So mm -hmm. if if I was going to pick this up, this would be sitting in my on my shelf in the alt mode. Um, I like how the tires and the rims are different. The the gray rim with or the gray wheel with the black rim at least on the alt mode that's what i was just about to say it's like that on the alt mode but not the robot mode exactly uh, so <laughs> i don't know i don't know what that is but i do like the the difference in the alt mode it makes it look like there's a a rim and a tire versus it all being one so that would actually pull me into looking at this a little bit more but yeah in the in the bot mode it's not that way so i wonder which way it's going to look in hand yes and i think this would be good for kids let me reiterate a lot of these rise of babies toys are not meant for us at all so i'm going to keep that in mind because i think this would be great for kids it looks like it has posability eh, they'd like it next we have <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I jumped the gun there. <laughs> that was uncensored. Um, we have Beast Battle Pro Masters Optimus Primal. So this turns into a little gun. And I know by that reaction, it sounds like you are going to be going and waiting in line for Target to pick this up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I literally cannot tell. I, I would definitely need to have a, a better picture and see this in person because I literally, it looks like a little chunk. It looks like a, a, <laughs> like a, a uh, somebody took some Tootsie Rolls and kind of <laughs> melted them together and just kind of made this figure. Um, I would have, this has to be like that $4.99 price point or something like that. And I know it's so probably the, not. So these are $8.49. And I think he's not posed correctly. No, definitely with the, not. It's a, with the curve in the back, like gorillas have, I think he's supposed to have his feet down and his arms hunkered down as well. That's why his head's pointed up. He's supposed to look forward. Um, but I, I, I can't get. If these were the four ninety nine, like like you said, instead by Target Master got it. Right. But for eight forty nine, no. I've already mm. seen these go on not these but other rise of the beast things go on clearance in walmarts um, not personally but online so i'll wait for the clearance i mean like the first thing i thought was he he's posed like somebody's giving him a wedgie and he's like oh, oh you see, know. i thought he was getting abducted by a ufo oh no yeah see i just see when that oh hold on so yeah somebody <laughs> got a hold of those monkey pants that's what that looks like monkey pants <laughs> next we have the flex changers cheetor um 
One thing I have to say is I'm very confused with the color schemes in a lot of these Rise of the Beasts figures. Some of them are monotone. Some of them have the Beast Wars color scheme. Some of them have something totally different in between. So like the brown on Cheetor. So I don't understand what they're going with and why there's such a variety. Yes. Um, but so that's the first thing. The second thing is it says that the rubber brand springs the transformation with these things, which would have me worried that the rubber band's gonna break eventually. These dudes are not going to stand the test of time for that reason. I'm looking at that, it looks like a, a clamp in the alt mode, right under the head of the alt mode. What is that? I think that's just part of his chest. Actually, if you look at him, it looks like his waist. See where the head comes down and there's two blue parts right above yeah. the screws? Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. It looks like it has an interesting transformation. Um, well, I'm does. just like with the rubber band. Uh, that's just not smart because it's not going to last the test of time. And if anything, if the rubber band snaps, can you use a regular rubber band to get it to work again? I think that bright blue thing is the rubber band. So good luck weaving yeah. it through. You know, who knows? Maybe they already thought of this and you could just clip it in and out, but, you know. Yeah. But, I like. You know, I do like this one, the color scheme on this one, better than the uh, Yoga Cheetor with those brown <laughs> leg warmers. Me too. Me too. Um, and I think this would be fun for the five-year-olds that get it. Honestly. Yeah, I, I like the way they transform. They're really kind of cool, actually. I might pick up one or two just to, just to experience it firsthand. Yes. So next we have um, Weaponizer's RC and Cheetor. Now I've got to say, this RC looks better than the Studio Series one. I 100%. Agree. It, I mean, it might not have the articulation or the paint or blah, 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 but it looks nicer. I agree. I just noticed that the hand is is uh, hanging out the back of the, the alt mode. <laughs> like, oh, hey. goodness gracious. You had to ruin it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me a ride? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's hitchhiking as she's driving along. Yeah, you know, so um, I do agree, though. It, it does look better. The The bot mode, look to me, looks a lot better than the studio. Yeah. And uh, I do like the colors on this, actually. And so it's the alt mode looks pretty good as well, you know, minus the, the w wagging arm. But it's it's it is it, i think it serves its purpose yeah i do too uh, now we have oh, excuse me we have a whole bunch to go through now um the first one is powers plus battle trap and bumblebee so i'm just gonna go off and say it if i find that battle trap i'm gonna buy it that is the weirdest looking thing i've seen in a while i like the purple i like the orange I'll call it some random name and it'll go in my collection because that thing looks weird. Uh, if it's under $14.99. <laughs> it definitely looks weird. And I am surprised actually. I am and I'm not. Part of me is is like the the colors, the bright colors and everything. I, I could see you picking it up. I actually like the bumblebee. It, it reminds it actually reminds me of you know uh a old school car when i say old school i'm talking about like you know way back in the gangster days you know and with that blue engine it, it just you know looks kind of cool to me and the way it opens up um i don't know if i would pick one up but they they are different they're different yes. enough from what's out there that it's intriguing well, it's funny you say that because these are both redecos from the Bumblebee movie. Yeah. So they're, they're not new. Um, but I just realized that I don't think Battletrap or Bumblebee have knees. So that means I'm not picking it up. <laughs> if it doesn't have basic articulation, I'm out. Oh, um, yeah. And here we have Megatron and Optimus with the same treatment. So here you go. Again, for kids... This would be amazing for them. And then we have redecos of Legends characters, 
we have Barricade and Bumblebee. And here's a Legends Optimus and a Starscream that's based off of the Blitzwing from Bumblebee. So, there's quite a bit of kids' toys coming out. Yeah, I guess that's a good thing. I'm expecting to find a lot of these, Clarence, because they're coming out with too much, too fast, and they're all re-decos or repaint, and um, excuse me, re-releases. So it's a lot of the same stuff over and over and over and over again. So I am don't think that this is the best move for Hasbro, but hey, I'm not a multimillionaire, so... I'll let them make the decisions. Well, it's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Cause right now the shelves are empty or, you know, have stuff sitting on there that's been sitting on there forever. Yeah. So I agree with you that there's just too much too fast, unless this is going to take two years to release all of this. But it's just like, I go into Target or Walmart now and don't see anything. And so then you're yeah. gonna, all this stuff on the shelf is gonna be overwhelming. And especially for the parents. So, like, if I was a parent of a kid that didn't know nothing about Transformers, I would get them one Optimus Prime and that would be it. Yeah. I'm not going to get them the three, four, or five versions of Optimus Prime that are coming out. This isn't, I hate to say it, Transformers aren't Spider-Man, where you have multiples of Children have multiples upon multiples upon multiples of them. Because there's not... They, they, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get like web slinging Optimus Prime and wall crawling Optimus Prime. But Transformers has never worked that way. It's, it's but good on them. I hope that it works out and they funnel a lot of money into generations because that's what I want to see. Yeah, I do kind of like that Star Scream though. <laughs> it's cool. I do like that design. But now something that I think you you are going to get which is the gold chrome chest part for um, Fans Toys Blaster. Now, are you going to get this? So, uh, I, I have my pre-order in for Blaster, for, for the Fans Toys Blaster. And I know this was a, a big issue, is that it was going to be the gold piece, and then we started seeing the yellow chest, which we're used to. I'm not buying two blasters just to have a separate one and and normally i do because i can't make up my mind but i do not like the gold if i'm oh. hoping that it comes with it and you have an opportunity to switch the the piece out i'm all in oh. but, but the gold would stay in the box surprising um i'm not getting blaster obviously one, I don't collect fan stories, excuse me, but Blaster also isn't my favorite character. And I don't think I even have a toy of Blaster up on my shelf right now. Um, so I would be out. But if I did get it, I would get the gold plated version because I think that just looks cool. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, I have a lot of Blasters. I have, you know, um, I have a, a few of the KFC versions and I have. Um, the uh the ds version um but yeah i've been looking for the fans toys but yeah the, the gold kind of pushed me on the uh, but i'm happy they're coming out with the yellow one yes well we'll have to wait to see a review on that but while we wait let's get into the updates so there's not a lot the only thing is that we got single packaged versions of the mirage nightbird and wheeljack that are not um, packaged in that three pack, the Buzzworthy Bumblebee. Um, and I've got to say, I probably am going to pick up that Nightbird. The more and more I see it, the more I'm like, I kind of just need it to round out. I mean, I, I would feel like a charlatan if I did not buy that full width for my Decepticon um, Fembot shelf. So I'll probably get it. I'll probably rename it something else. And boom, there we go. Um, and I know you are all in on that wheel, Jack, right? Uh, yes, I am definitely <laughs> going to get that for you for your birthday. <laughs> Again, thank you. I will take anything for free. Yes. Uh, so... Put a little paint on that and it could be, you know, 
Sheldon bot from Big Bang Theory or something. Yeah, or Urkel bot. Or Urkel, Urkel. There, there you go. That's a better one. That yeah. I would definitely make it Urkel. Yeah. So, um, call it R hyphen K L <laughs> or something like that. No. Urkel. You gotta make me do that. Yes. Yeah. I'm skipping on all of these actually. Um, so I don't think there's much to say about them. You know, the the packaging looks kind of cool. It's, you know, very different from of course what we have out. So I always like, you know, really cool packaging and, and a refresh of packaging. But yeah, I'm out on all three of them. I, I thought I, I might be able to do the Nightbird, but it's not gonna happen. Well, you might want to get the Studio Series one. That's an eventual, eventually comes out because I think that alt mode will be a lot better. And I know you like that alt mode. I did. So let's get to what's coming in. The first thing um, is the Ocular Max Tempo, which is their steel job. So I think this is a re-release, not a new. I think this already came out because I know it came out when we were in LA. Was it or was Chicago. it no Chicago, Chicago? But I don't know if the official release came out. Um, I couldn't yeah. find that information. Yeah. So, so I, yeah, basically the difference is the the color of the goal of the the guns on the exclusive that was at Chicago in this version. And I picked up the one in Chicago, but I, I didn't pick this one up. So I don't. I'm with you. I don't know if this was already. I think it was already released. And they may have just gotten some more in stock, but I don't hold me to that because I didn't pick up yeah. this. Yeah, so um, get it if you need it. And the next is the Magic Square Light of Peace Optimus Prime, the 2023 version. Now, I'm pretty sure this is something you already have coming to for you, correct? The EX, yes. The this is I, the, I, this is the new painted version. Yes, with the with the. Um, diecast. Diecast. I I don't know. I just had a blank there. Wow. So yeah, with the diecast, uh, I do have this on its way. So I will be pretty happy. I know you're you're happy with the Ultra Magnus, so I'm happy that I'll be getting this. And I love diecast, so uh, I'm glad I waited. They definitely had to put diecast in it because that Ultra Magnus is really light. Now I prefer my figures without diecast just for the longevity of joints and blah 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 blah. But um, I do like the figure. I think there are parts on the transformation that you have to pull pieces away that shouldn't be pulled and stuff mm -hmm. um, that I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, but all in all, I do like it. Um, and the Ultra Magnus version has some weird white colored pink differences, but I don't think you're gonna have that issue with this. Yeah, I hope not. All right. So what has been recently released? So the first thing i didn't know where to put these because technically it's an update but these are already in store we got official images of the mainline voyager optimus primal which we've talked about to death about how boring it is and we've got new images less fun but still mm -hmm. there of the rhinox so yeah you know i'm out on both of these i guess they're about 30 dollars, which is still too much for me so they're cheaper than a normal voyager but more expensive than a Voyager should be to begin with. You know, that Rhinox looks good to me, and I think I've probably said that before. I am i haven't seen them in stores, so it's easy for me to say I'm out, since I am somewhat of an impulse shopper when I see stuff in stores as well. But that Rhinox does kind of look a little good to me, but I don't know so if I'm going to pick it up. So you've heard it now, folks. If he finds it in stores, he's picking it up. <laughs> That's what that means. Um, Don't hold me to that. <laughs> so some Rise of the Beast risers have been found. There's a lot more pictures um, online if you want to find them. I didn't think that we needed to include them here. But pretty much Walmarts are starting to get them in, and they're pushing um, full force ahead on the Rise of the Beasts. And the Fandango has a thing where they say, buy two Hasbro Transformer toys and get a $10 reward from Fandango. So that I might go in and buy just two of them that I think are okay to go see Rise of the Beasts with $10 because I'm not looking forward to spending money on seeing that movie. So I might just do that. I may have to join you in that. I know um, I'm, I'm partially looking forward to the movie, 
I'm hoping that I will be so happy with the movie that I'm disappointed in the figures versus being disappointed in the figures and being disappointed in the movie. I really hope this movie is not disappointing, but I am not um, putting my hope in it <laughs> from what we've seen already. <coughs> All right, so, and oh, well, I guess the flex changer for Cheetor was already found, so maybe that mm -hmm. should have been moved here. Um, but we, they already found Cheetor, Night Scream, and Night Scream, Nightbird. Not Night Scream yet. That's the next movie when they get into Beast Machines and <laughs> Bumblebee. So go pick them up if you can. Maybe this will be the Nightbird you pick up. Maybe. I haven't seen any of them. And then also recently released was the Magic Square's original um, Legend Scale Optimus Prime. So this is the new um, version without a trailer. It's a 2.0 version. So for Legends collectors like Bobby, go ahead and pick it up. <laughs> um, and then we have another Legends, New Age. <laughs> they call him Max King Kong. <laughs> this is obviously Cosmos. So it looks nice. You know, oh, very cute. Bob, Bobby will be picking it up to go with his star screen. <laughs> Not um, doing it. We have Brawn as well for you Legends collectors, which Bobby already probably has pre-ordered because he really likes it from the last news cycle we have. I have not, and I'm not going to. <laughs> Thank you very much. And then we have things that I think Bobby already has coming to him or already has. Um, we have the Shockwave, the Dino uh, Slag, and Superion, which I don't bring. I know you're not getting the Dino Bots because you already have them, correct? Mm-hmm. Superion, did you do you have Superion? Or are you getting this one? I can't remember. So I am getting this one. Okay. And it again, nostalgia purposes. I actually had the gift set when I was a kid, and as soon as I saw that, I was just like, oh, oh man, I wish I still had my stuff. So I am picking this up, uh, this fourth party KO. So I'm. Are you gonna leave it in in its box? No, I'm not. It's it's coming out. I did pick up the the KO Defensor, and we'll 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 link it up here. Go watch that short. Yeah, and I was I was pretty happy with it. It did bring back some some memories, and it it's just amazing of how small they are in comparison to what's out there now. So yeah, um, I am very happy with it. So I'm I'm happy to keep to collect these as well. And something that I know you're happy about that we talked about is. The KO Metroplex. Now, I know when we were at TFCon, you were so disappointed that you found a Metroplex in box. It was super expensive. And then you learned the stickers were applied and it wasn't in the best condition. So I think this is very good for you. You're very lucky that they're coming out with this. But as always, come out with a Metro Titan and I might think about it. Yes, I, I do have this on its way to me as well. And you're absolutely right. I I was almost I was in and actually leaving L.A. I went down to San Diego, and I also saw another uh, Metroplex in box, and the box was completely beat up. And um, I took a look at it, and the figure was yellow, you know, and oh. and so um, and they wanted I think. Five hundred dollars for it, or four hundred, five hundred dollars for it. So I didn't pick that one up, but either. And so I'm glad I waited, and I will have this little big guy in my collection in <laughs> the next week or two. I hope. All right. Well, we'll be having to watch for that because I think that's going to be really interesting to see how these hold up to the originals. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I, I I love them. Mm -hmm. So that's everything we have for you for this new cycle. We'll be seeing you very soon, and we will um, watch out for some shorts coming up. Yes, and just an update, we actually hit our 100 subscribers, so thank you very much. And as promised, we will be having a collection show off, or we'll be showing off our collections, I should say. So please... Uh, send in your collections. We'd love to add them and you know get those out there as as we dedicate a whole episode 
to you, our, our BBC <laughs> fans. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.